how do I start this vlog off? So, update on what's been going on. Uh, it is my second year here living in Korea. As you know from, I guess, previous video a while ago when I first moved to Korea back in March or February, March, February, April, uh, it was quite bumpy for me. Uh, it was cold, I didn't like the food. I talked about, I complained about the manners. I complained a lot, actually. I complained a lot. And uh, by the end of the year, like within nine months, 10 months within living here, I had got better adjusted to the uh, living in Seoul. And I decided to stay another year, which I'm glad. I'm, I can say now that things have gotten better. I'm happier, more, more mature. So I went home in February. I went home to see my mom in Texas in February. And even my family members were like, oh, you know, you sound so much mature. And I was like, well, thank you, you know? Getting out, getting away from your family, you know, you, you learn how to grow up. So anyway, um, I'm putting this video out because a friend of mine uh, sent me a text message on Instagram and actually a few other people have been uh, texting me on Instagram asking me how is everything, how am I doing with everything here with the virus, the coronavirus and everything going on in Korea. And um, so that's why I was like these are going to be long stories. But I don't want to make this vlog too long because I know me, I don't like to sit and listen to people talk forever. But um, I definitely will try to make more stories so you guys can just kind of click to it and like, okay, this is the information I wanted to hear. So anyway, um, my experience living here in Korea is good. Uh, the coronavirus popped off, I guess, last year? No, 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 like if, I guess end of December, but it didn't really hit Korea till January, March, January, March. Cause I was wearing masks then. Even though people in Korea weren't really wearing masks, I was still wearing masks. And um, when I went home, February, I went home to see my family and uh, that morning or like two days later, I got a text message from my friend and she said, oh, the virus in Korea has spiked. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, well, there was a cult church in Daegu and one person went to the church and it spread to everybody. And so that, you know, was like kind of panic mode, I guess, for Korea. But honestly, through the, the whole thing, I, I have to commend Korea for how they've handled the whole situation. I think they've done a very, very good job. Uh, even before the virus has spiked, soon as they heard of one patient getting the virus on Korean Seoul, they had already had doctors lined up, hospitals lined up, drive through, uh, what do you call it? Drive through testing centers where you have, if you have a car, you can just drive through and they'll test you in the car. Um, you know, like they, they made sure that they put sanitizer out at subway stations, on bus, at, on bus, on the buses, at schools, at the shopping centers, at groceries, and you, you see sanitizer everywhere now. And, um, even like at the station I live close to, they put like a machine and maybe, uh, maybe I'll add a video, maybe I won't. But they added like a little disinfectant machine because you take the escalator up and they put a, like a little disinfecting machine. I don't know what it is. I guess it's supposed to laser the germs away. So I even see that now where at the, at the, near the subway station I stay at. Um, so yeah, I, good job for doing that. Uh, I have like so many stories to say, but I'm so nervous to talk on camera. Uh, but overall, I'm safe. I'm happy. I'm at peace. I'm not living in fear. I'm not walking in fear. People are going out. Not everyone. Some people are still staying in. Like I have one friend. She's an art teacher, but she actually canceled her classes. Uh, so she's staying indoors, but uh, she goes out here and there, and then I'll go out as well here and there. Like I went to the park the other day near Bonpo Bridge. Bonpo Bridge, I think that's how you pronounce it. I went to the park the other day. 
Um, and then yesterday I went to the art park. So I've been kind of going to parks. I try not to hang out with a lot of people. Um, I constantly wear masks on my face. By the grace of God, I have not had to buy a mask yet. People have just kind of given me masks. And I actually have one reusable mask. It's black. And sometimes, I guess if you see me on Instagram on my pictures, I have like a black mask on. But otherwise, and I have like a purple mask on. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not purple. Paper. Paper mask on. And um, yeah, I mean, everything's fine. I make sure I keep my hands sanitized or I keep my hands washed. I even sometimes wear gloves. So, I mean, I don't know what the news is saying about the virus here in Asia, but it's gotten better. I've even texted my friends uh, who live in China and I asked them, have they gone back to work? Some of them are still working from home, but I have one friend and she works at um, an art museum. Uh, shout out to Magpie. And she uh, she's back at work. She said the clubs are still closed and like places where you congregate a lot are still closed, but she's back at work you know everything's kind of slowly going back to normal uh with that being said i feel like koreans are now kind of putting their guard down just a little bit at least the citizens and so they actually opened up the amusement park called everland and they and right now it is the beginning of april so it's like cherry blossom season so you'll see like a lot of cherry blossoms around this around the country so people go out and take pictures with them and there's one special big area actually i went there last year was um seoul grand park station and so there's like a lot of cherry blossoms lined up and people are going out there taking pictures and it's not just like one or two people or 50 people like I've heard from the article that I read it's very very crowded so the government and everyone's like you know be cautious even though things are getting a little bit more calmer uh, we don't want to spike a spike to go up because you're going to Everland and it's crowded at Everland which is the amusement parks um, I guess similar to Disneyland I haven't been yet or going to Go take pictures with the with the cherry blossoms and you catch the virus and then it spikes so they're saying just be cautious like if you want to go out you know it's okay to go out but go out around your house and then go back in because we still are in a pandemic situation and there is no vaccine for it um so yeah i guess that's that pretty much sums up what's going on school is canceled so um, I text one of my friends and she she works at a hogwan so she said at first they started teaching classes online and then after they moved to in class like she's teaching students now she said slowly the students are coming she said um, but she said since the public schools are all going to be teaching online that they may start going back to teaching online so I haven't taught online I don't know what's it like because we haven't had school so i've just kind of been enjoying my month off i try my best to stay in but then i also do want to take advantage of this time because i have daylight beautiful sunlight and i can go out and take pictures and just kind of enjoy my day uh so i guess i'll keep you guys updated on what's that like at school um so yeah i guess if there's anything i didn't cover Oh, I guess I'll talk about masks. So, like I heard in America, my friends are like, yeah, we don't have masks, we don't have masks. Uh, so here, what Korea did was, I have a card, and it has like a, it's a residential card. And uh, what Korea did is that they set, you can buy masks, like they have masks, but you have to buy them in rations. So Monday through Sunday, all through the week, uh, except on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are free days, but Monday through Friday, uh, you can go buy two masks, two masks per person. I think the masks are like $3. And so uh, whatever year your birthday is on is the day you can buy masks. So for example, if you were born in 1991, on Monday, you would go get masks. If you were born in 1992, Tuesday, you go get masks. Born in 1993, Wednesday you go get masks, 1994 you go on Thursday you get masks and so on and so on and so forth. Uh, I guess you're like, oh, what do you do if we were born 1988? I don't know all of that. I do kind of know they kind of rotate out the year. 
Um, I feel like that helps with crowds. It, it really does. Instead of being a long line wrapped around the pharmacy store, you know, like only a certain amount of people stand in the line and you have to get there early because the pharmacies will start selling the mask at 2 p.m. and people will be standing in line at what one no 2 p.m. so they're, they're standing in line like one o'clock or 12 30 just to get there early so they make sure they get a mask um even some global centers have opened up mask stations for foreigners and tourists so maybe you're not a resident and you're in the area and you're a foreigner they have a lot of foreign centers you can go to and you can get a you can get a mask um, or up to five masks you just have to show your passport or your arc card which is an alien registration card um what else i think that's about it i mean korea has been so helpful and you know not just with koreans but also with uh so what am i a foreigner with foreigners they've been so helpful with you know just handling the whole situation so i definitely commend them on that and like i said if there are any questions that i didn't answer in this video that you want to know about please feel free to leave a comment below or uh, find me on Instagram and shoot me a DM.